It's time to lift the curtain again and show you my Prestige 7 stats. Welcome to my Call of Duty gaming channel. I am Nessinator. Now, I actually wasn't going to record this one. I was going to skip this one and go right to 8, but I figured I'm staying consistent showing you guys where I'm at with each level, so why not stay consistent? You can see 2.41 KD, 3.25 score per minute, 8.67 win loss. Now, some of you will probably not agree with what I chose to go with my permanent unlock for Prestige number 7, but I had to do it. It was important. It's where I'm at right now, and I chose Overclock as my permanent unlock here in Prestige number 7. And the reason behind that is because at this moment in this game, I have finally unlocked my Hero Gear Challenges. That's right, so you'll see right here, I've already got Ruin's head done. Now, the way it works is all the headgear for each character is done through their specialist abilities, and each body is unlocked through their specialist weapons. So with all of the specialist abilities, you have to get four kills, within one game four times to unlock it and with the specialist weapon you have to get six kills in one game six times to unlock the body outfit so some of them obviously are more challenging than others now in this video right here you'll see I have worked a lot on their specialist abilities first because those are the easiest I think to do they're really straightforward four kills using the specialist abilities are not that difficult and uh, it's just easy to do for me personally. You can see right there, I already got batteries, headgear as well. Can't wait to get the full outfit on her. I think hers looks, uh, you know, one of the best with the hero gear. And when I get them all unlocked, I definitely will show you guys that they're all unlocked. Whenever prestige that is, I'll show you. You can see I already got Seraph's headgear as well. Now I did unlock someone completely. I'll let you guys see what happens once we get there. You can see who it is. Some of you may be able to guess. He is my favorite specialist character in this game thus far. Uh, the ones that I think will be the most difficult to do here in this hero challenge is the gravity spikes and the hive. Those two weapons getting six kills you know, in a game six times, I think that's going to be a little difficult, but that's just my personal opinion. You know, The hives can be a little tricky to get kills with and the gravity spikes as well. And you can see right here, here's the character, Spectre, Active Camo, Ripper, all of it done. That's the first character I maxed out. And uh, he's probably someone that I'll go back to once I unlock all of these hero gears. This is probably gonna be my go-to character. It really is a specialist character that complements my playstyle. I'll get into all that in just a second. You can take a look right here. I got Fire Breaks helmet already done. Still gotta get the six kills in six different games with the Purifier. But that should not be too difficult because that purifier is a beast. So I'm really looking forward to getting all of these done. Now in the background right here, you guys are going to see some supply drop openings. But I want to talk to you more about the specialist before I get into this whole supply drop opening. So enjoy the supply drops in the back. But let's go over something here. Now obviously with this whole hero gear unlock thing that I've got going, I've used every specialist character, their abilities, their weapons quite a bit. And now I kind of have a gauge to see who is my favorite to use. Now I'm going to give you my top four specialist characters in Black Ops 3. I would say top five, but to be honest, there are only four that I would consider my favorite. And after that, it's a coin flip on whoever I use. But these are my top four. Obviously, Spectre comes in at number one. You guys can see that by the already golded out hero gear that I got for him. But Spectre, with his active camo and his ripper, it really complements my playstyle. You know, being a rusher, like getting in people's flanks, I could be stealthy, quiet, you know, and then also, too, when you do rush, there's those situations when you find yourself face to face with someone, and I can use the ripper to my advantage. Not to mention, both of his specialist abilities, you get quite often. You get them a lot, especially using overclock. You get ripper a lot, and you get active camo a lot. So I really enjoy the fact that I can utilize my specialist abilities a lot more than other people. And I find that to be a benefit. So Spectre's one of my favorites. I mean, not one of my favorites, my favorite. The second one would be Battery. I really, really enjoy using Battery. Now, she was actually the first specialist character that I unlocked the War Machine when I started the game. You know, I had to pick someone. I went with the War Machine, and it's a noob tuber's dream. To be honest, it's a really, really good weapon. It's one of the best specialist weapons in the game. And also to her active camo, her specialist ability is awesome. I, I don't know if you guys have or have not used it yet, but I highly recommend it. I know a lot of hardcore players use it, but it's just a really, really nice specialist ability to use, especially when you have people coming around a corner, a whole group, you could throw that on and most likely get your quad feet. So I really enjoy using battery. She's my second. Third would be fire break. I really, really enjoy using fire break. That purifier, uh, again, just a really amazing specialist weapon. You know, it's probably one of the best. I would say the purifier, the scythe, and uh, for me, it's the ripper. I know some people would disagree with that. Are probably the best weapons in the game. But fire break, that purifier, uh, again, his heat wave, his little ability that he has, really effective. 
a lot of people do not realize that. I wish it was a little more potent, because sometimes when you stun people, they can still shoot you, which kind of sucks. It's like hitting someone with a concussion grenade. You know, they can still see you, they can still move, but they're moving really slowly, and sometimes they can actually win a gunfight. So that's the only thing about Heat Wave, but again, it's still a great ability. I still enjoyed using it, and uh, it's probably something I'm still going to use. Fire All these specialists that I'm naming to you, I'm definitely still going to use once everybody's maxed out. And the fourth one coming in last would be Ruin. I really enjoy using Gravity Spikes, I really enjoy using Overdrive, and uh, not to mention, I think out of all the specialist hero gear, his looks the best, hands down. Ruins all golded out mask and his outfit. He just looks awesome. So that is my favorite uh, list right there, specialists to use here in Black Ops 3. And uh, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about it or if you have any different opinions. Now before this video closes out, let's quickly talk about the supply drop openings that you guys have been watching in the background. Now you guys know that I switched off from opening common supply drops to rare supply drops. And in this video, I opened, uh, let's see, 471 crypto keys in total. I opened 20 rare supply drops. Out of those 20 rare supply drops, I got 43 items rare or better. So I doubled it. This is probably my most successful supply drop opening to date. I really got a lot of good things, a lot of cool things. I got a legendary silencer for my CUDA. I like getting camos and, and you know attachments for guns that I actually use. So it was really exciting. I got a lot of good things in the supply drop opening. And also, too, the little lottery that they have on the side there where you get free crypto keys with each rare supply drop that you open, I got back a total of 140 free crypto keys. So, you know, that led to another four free rare supply drops for me personally. So uh, again, I think rare supply drops are worth it. This was a good opening for me. You can see right here, I'm about to burn my duplicates. In the end here, I do go back and I burn all my duplicates and I open five common. Now in those five common supply drops that I open, I get four out of five rare buy er items or better. So it still worked out okay. You know, I, I don't think I'm going to be opening up too many common supply drops anymore. I think what I'll do is I'll open all rare and then whatever's left, I'll burn duplicates and then I'll use that to open commons at the end just to see what we get. But that's how I'm going to kind of work it. You guys, thanks for sticking through with me throughout this whole video. I know it was a little long of a stat video, but I think you guys saw some good stuff. I got a lot of good things coming up. Again, as I always say, stay tuned. Thanks for all your views, subscribes, and likes. This is Nessinator, and I'm out.